So we'll be the blue team. Yes, red is attacking us. This is Joel, this is Debo. Okay, the way we defend is in a diamond. So it's basically, it's keep the diamond no matter what. The diamond stays in the same shape, it just rotates. Did you t do this a bit at the national camp? The shape, yeah. Okay, so say this guy's on the ball. Closest player to the ball presses. Everyone else covers in the diamond shape. So if this guy's at the front of the diamond, look, there's the attacker or like the highest guy, the guy who quarterbacks the thing, and then two on the side. Yes, you guys see the diamond? Okay, so if it's closest to the ball, this guy gets closest. These shift, this guy is the back of the diamond. If the ball comes out here, this guy is now the head of the diamond. That means that this guy becomes the back of the diamond and we go like this. Does that make sense? Okay, if the ball goes out here, he's the top, he's the back, we stay in this diamond like this. We're not following men, we're just protecting the middle. So as the ball shifts, the closest player gets there, everyone else shifts, 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 diamond. Make sense? Yep. Okay, we're gonna run through it so it'll be easier to understand, but just to see it, if the ball goes here, and sometimes, hey, we both, we kinda wanna go, okay? And maybe he should go, maybe he should go. But whoever goes, everyone else reacts. Make sense? So if he goes, then the diamond stays together. If this guy happens to go, then the diamond shifts like this. Does that make sense? Okay, so if you're playing on the wings and your your partner, your wing partner, is closest to the ball, where are you? Which one? Your wing. If you're playing on the wing and the ball gets shifted to your, let's say your wing partner, the other guy playing wing, you're the back. where are you? Yeah, you're the back of the diamond here, like this, right? Okay, if that ball comes here and he goes, well now, this is the back of the diamond, okay? We'll run through it, but that's the whole shape, boys. Just stay in the diamond. If a guy comes in the middle and he runs across, do not follow him like this. We lose our diamond, yes? You, you say, yes, he's coming across, you communicate, but you let him go. We protect the middle, okay? If we can keep them to the outside, where the fuck am I? If we can keep them to the outside, just keep that shape, keep them to the outside, quickly get forward, keep your diamond, just push them back, just do not let them come in the middle. If the ball comes in here, we swarm the shit out of them like that, okay? Like obviously, when you're in the shape, I'm saying don't man mark, but you're still responsible for a man, yes? Okay, so even though I'm watching the ball, I'm still aware of this guy, because if that ball gets shifted to him, I'm pressing, everyone else is covering in that diamond shape. Make sense? Okay, so we'll run through it, and we'll each take turns defending. We're just gonna shift the ball across the field, and we all rotate. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, goalkeeper's biggest thing is communication. Yes, because you can see everything. The way it usually works is these three guys are in constant rotation. Two touch, constant rotation, in and out, passing. I'll show you the movement. This guy plays target. So he might try to stay in here and he might pop up out here, but this guy does not go back in here usually. Unless someone comes forward and switches with him, then he fills in this role. Okay, but the passing rotation is like this. So when we get the ball, this is how we want to try to play out. If you can, I'll show you this rotation, but saying that if you can play forward and we can attack right away, that's your option. Play to score goals, play to attack, right? If they're pressing us, they're giving us trouble, this is when we run the rotation. So the run rotation is like this. If I remember, I haven't played football for a while. Okay, this ball gets played into here. So when you play a pass across, you're playing a ball across the field like this. After you play that pass, you run forward, diagonal run. Hopefully these guys track you and this forces them to go backwards. So you run into here. At the same time, this guy's running back to receive the pass. Ball gets played into him. This guy goes forward run like this. We push him backwards. This guy's continuing his run, coming back like this to receive the ball. He's going to press. Ball gets played across. This guy runs through. This guy's peeling back to get the ball. And we're constantly pushing them back with our rotation. Does that make sense? What's up, boys? Uh, yes, boys? G. Pass and cut early. Okay. So does that make sense as far as the rotation? We'll run the pattern. It's easier once you get the motion going, but all you're really doing is playing a pass, getting out of your feet, making diagonal run, pushing them backwards with your diagonal run. And then the other guy's peeling out to receive the ball. Running, keeping your width, turning your body in, running, we'll run the pattern, it's easy. But just constant rotation of players. What we were doing by the end of last season, we became very predictable, is we just stood like this. And even though we move the ball, and this is what most teams will do, they'll move the ball like this. It's so easy for us to just sit in that shape and other teams to sit in that shape. 
when there's no movement of players like this. Make sense? If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.